American public about taking the vaccine, and they should be. We can't trust the president uh, and take his word and take a vaccine that might cause harm to us. If and when the vaccine comes, and it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. Let's just say there's a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? Well, I think that's going to be an issue for all of us. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? We will need to have access to the vaccine results so we can make our independent assessment to make sure that Donald Trump's uh, fingerprints are not on it. You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. Is the vaccine safe? Uh, frankly, I'm not going to trust the federal government's opinion. And I wouldn't recommend to New Yorkers based on the federal government's opinion. And the question of whether it's real when it's there, that requires enormous transparency. Would you trust that vaccine? There's very little that we can trust that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. We cannot take for granted this process will be free of political influence. I don't trust the president, and I don't trust the FDA. If Donald Trump can't give answers and the administration can't give answers to these three questions, the American people should not have confidence. You're going to say to the American people now, here's a vaccine, it was new, it was done quickly, but trust this federal administration and their health administration that it's safe? I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump. Hey, how confident are you in the approval process of the FDA right now? How confident am I? Uh, I'm not that confident. Yes, I would be hesitant, but I'm going to ask a lot of questions. You're going to need someone other than this FDA and this CDC saying it's safe. You got to make all of it available to other experts across the nation so they can look and see. So there's consensus this is a safe vaccine. Uh, what I'm worried about is that there's some sort of October surprise and that there is a pressure put on the decision makers here to announce the vaccine in October of 2020. We're going to put together our own group of doctors and medical experts to review the vaccine and the efficacy and the protocol. And if they say it's safe, then I'll go to the people of New York and I will say it's safe. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. This is Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. All right, so the wicked are estranged from the womb. They, they, were, uh, they were alienated. They were cut off. Okay, they were made different from the womb. It says they go astray as they be uh, as soon as they be born speaking lies. So they come out speaking lies. Their, their natural spirit is to speak lies. All right. And they're poisoned like the poison of a serpent. All right. <laughs> Don't let them bite you. All right. You know, you, you can play with a serpent all you want to. But uh, you can you can nourish them, feed them up. But he'll bite you one day. I promise you that. All right. And that's the nature of the wicked. You cannot trust the wicked as you can clearly see from the video alright so they were saying one thing at one point in time because it was coming out of another individual's mouth and then they go along right along with it what does that tell you they are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies alright This is uh, Sirach 12, verse 16, or Ecclesiasticus. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. All right, you see how they was talking about uh, making sure that everything needs to be done to check it out, that it's all good before, you know, before they you know, do the thing. All right, they're speaking sweetly, making you feel like, oh, they really care about us. But in his heart, he imagines how to throw thee into a pit. See, and he, he's done that because they did all that capping before about it. And now look what they're doing. You know, they they pushing for the thing. They, they pushing for it now. But in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit 
he will weep with his eyes but if he find opportunity he will not be satisfied with blood <laughs> we get the chance you'll take your own eye player that's how it's gonna roll if adversity come upon thee thou shalt find him there first all right so when these things happen to you they the first ones be there oh man we're gonna bail you out we got you know all kind of aid all kind of things that we're gonna help you out with <laughs> they gonna be the first ones there and though he pretend to help thee yet shall he undermine thee and all this is to undermine you all this is to you know get you to go along to get along go along with what the get, get is all right he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. He's going to do whatever it takes to get you. All right. You got to remember, he's the, uh, as in uh, <clears throat> Genesis 3, he's the uh, more subtle than any beast of the field. Remember that. Remember who you're dealing with. All right, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. And it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. It's that uh, Democratic and Republican Party for here, uh, here in Babylon the Great. All right. <clears throat> or in the ancient room, the uh, Plabians and the Patricians. All right. But you see, it says two horns like a lamb, but spake as a dragon. Okay, you got the Democrats and Republicans. Those are both the horns, right? One against the other. One, the, one uh, Democrats don't like Republicans. Republicans don't like Democrats. But guess what? Both of those horns came out of the same dragon. So therefore, whether you're Democratic or Republican, they're pushing for the, you're pushing, you know, the thing. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. All right. It's that same, that same beast that, that was wounded and is healed has come back. They're doing the same thing. All right. So. <clears throat> So this is just a quick lesson called Hello Yahweh Bashem Ashai Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and shalom.